Hey guys, what's up? This is Spaff Boy and welcome to Project Cars. Not just any Project Cars, but a very special Project Cars episode because the Ford Falcon FG V8 Supercar 2013 has arrived. And this is a big day for me because the V8 Supercar series is without shadow of a doubt my favorite racing series on the planet. And I love it. <laughs> I used to race these on R-Factor on a website called Touring Pro Series. Used to run a championship there, which I really, really enjoyed, and I've been waiting for this for ages. I've been see seen it teased by Slightly Mad Studios and Project Cars on Instagram and other things, alluding to the fact that it was gonna come, and here it is, in all of its glory. And not only that, it's got hundreds of skins, which is good, because they're all the same car. There is no Holden, Volvo, or Mercedes like there is in real life, it's just Fords for now. Um, so what are the headline figures? So top speed 295 kilometers an hour, 635 horsepower, looks six times heavy cars for race cars, they're 1,400 kilos, so 1 1.4 tons, um, and the weight is at the rear. So one thing you learn about these cars is when you've been watching it is that they're very powerful but they're very heavy. So They've got a lot of power, so they spin at the rears and they're very heavy, which means that it takes a long distance to slow down, which is why the racing is good. Um, makes them very hard to drive. They've got long accelerator pedals. You need to feed the throttle in, and I'm really interested to see if they have captured this at all on this game, which I'm sure they have because they're very good at what they do. Uh, which livery should we go for? Go metallic silver, and obviously, obviously, we're gonna go to Bathurst in Australia, the most famous V8 supercar racer is the Bathurst 1000. Um, and we're gonna test it out. I'm really excited, genuinely. I can't wait to drive this, I can't wait to even race against AI. I can't wait to set up a uh, V8 supercar server with this and kind of get you guys involved as well. So if you see a Spaff Boy server, come and join me because it means that I'm in there. Right, I'm not gonna do anything to the setup. I'm gonna see what it's like straight out of the box. Go, go, go. So, immediately looks cool. Sounds quite good. Oh yes, it sounds good. It looks good. Let's see how it handles. Uh, see if the tires are cold. So we'll find that out in a second in the bottom right hand corner. Oh my god! <laughs> I was honestly about half drop. So yeah, you could say the tire's cold. I like it already. I feel like we're very, very fast. Oh my god. Yeah, tyres are cold. Yeah, tyres are cold, so let me go and warm them up. I'll do two laps and then you can ride on board with me. Do a lap and then I can discuss what is what. Give me a minute. <laughs> okay, so I'm coming up to the last corner and we're gonna do a flying lap. We'll try and then I'll talk about it after.
Okay, so... <laughs> Very scrappy lap, but I didn't want you to think that I was conning you. That was genuinely the third lap in the car. And here we have a little bit of onboard. So let's see what it looks like, first of all. Obviously, the track looks stunning. Yeah, nice shunt. <laughs> but what do I think about the car? Well, the looks and the handling, I really, really like. Especially on default setup. No work done. It's a bit floaty and a bit unpredictable but it's definitely drivable straight out the box so if you're not that confident with setups you can just kind of get in it and drive um, the sound I don't know maybe it's because I haven't watched V8 Supercars for a while but could have sounded better in my opinion it still sounds good but I think it could have sounded better um, but yes it's probably my new favorite car in the game but I am biased because I love V8 supercars it's very powerful you do have to feed the power in as you come out of the corner you can't just stamp on the throttle unless you've got traction control on but these don't tend to have that uh, brakes are very good I have to say um, it still takes a long distance to stop because it is such a heavy car but it is a very good oh what a shot Sorry, I was just basking my own glory. <laughs> nice bit of uh, battle damage on the front of the car there. But overall, I would say that this is very good. Um, and that's going to be it. I'm just going to say it. it's really good. It's free, which is unbelievable. Um, yeah, it's free, which is unbelievable. It just comes with an update in the game. So if you've got it, then you will have it. Uh, if you don't have project cars, then I do definitely recommend it if you like racing games. It's a whole nother level above things like Gran Turismo and Forza. It's not quite at the level of R-Factor and Assetto Corsa and iRacing, but it's very close to them in my opinion. It will definitely give you hours and hours of enjoyment. And no, I haven't been paid to say that. <laughs> but um, I love it. I'm shame it's not a Holden. I'm more of a Holden fan or a Volvo fan than Ford. But beggars can't be choosers and... Again, Slightly Mad Studios have done a fantastic job on this car. I'm definitely going to be racing it offline and online. So hopefully at some point I will see you in a server. If you have enjoyed this video, if you do like the car, then please drop me a like. Let me know your thoughts on the car if you've had a go. But for now, have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.